Okay, now we are at the point where we are going to decide how thick the album can be because it's going to be in the box so I don't want it to be too bulky otherwise the box can't close again and we do need to have extra room for putting photos in so because it's already hmm, going to be thick we can't go any thicker so these two pages are definitely going to need very flat so what I am going to do is just make a page where we can put our tags in because we still have a lot of tags to use so let's make first this page with lots of opportunity to put tags in so stay now for tuned. this occasion I picked the purple uh, paper to use it as a background and when I'm finished you all you see not as much as this but it's easier to work with that you put your album to the side and you can work on this that's easier so what I will do is I'll make I show you sometimes it's easier just follow and see what I do um, let's see I like to is this let's grab a whole piece of paper that's hmm. wait this is the white one I, because I have two um, I have two different uh, thickness of paper and this is the 160 grams and the other one was the 210 and 210 is very nice for cards but for papers it is nice but for this one I like to use the 160 now um, I first make a fold line let me put this on here because we are going to use it much for this page now I'm just fold it and now I am going to put it underneath and then I make a mark how far this will go then I cut it yeah and let's make a fold line here too on this side let's cut this angle away don't need that just fold this part so and this is going to be fold like this and now we are let's see this is going to be on the right side so I shove it in yeah like this and now I like it to be cut all the way in the middle so let's grab this and I just lay one point there and one point here so give enough wiggle so one point here and one point here and then I cut so we have this let's see and then I shove it under neat and I see I this I hmm. let me see I make a little mistake
but mistakes can be adjust. So I make a mark and then I cut it again and now it's going to be perfect, yes. Yes it is! So now we do the same on the left side. So put this just a minute away Grab a piece of paper, make a fold line, and this is going to be on this side. So now we are going to make a fold line at this point, cut it. it's easier then I grab this and this as a guide to cut this one let's see if I if that is easier to do wait just a minute so let's cut here then I cut there. I'm just trying out what's the easiest way. But I believe this is pretty good. Now I can see what I'm doing. So my mark was here and the other mark is here. So I line it up, line it up, line it up. This should do it. Cut it. And of course, these you can cut afterwards. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Pretty much pretty good. Just here, just a little cut, but you won't see because this one is going to be on this side. Yeah, so we have a nice pocket. Yes, like it, like it, like it. So I think I first attach this part. So let's grab my ATG. Today I am very stiff in <laughs> using my bag. So today I am standing up on my table and that was also the reason why I made my table high enough so I can choose if I like to sit down or like to stand up. But today I definitely want to stand up. Now you can lay this over top if you like, and this one it can, and I think I will, otherwise over, over, over is, I think it's too thick, but it can, yes it can, but you can Just make it over. Yeah, I think I will do that. Yeah. So, this one is going to be on the back. And then this one I will prefer doing on top. And for this one I will use a little extra glue just to be sure yeah 
So now we have a big pocket. And but I like to make another pocket on this one. So we have an extra pocket for tags and this one I don't want to be too thick so it going it's I think it's nice that we are making it as flat as possible so yeah we can use the leftovers but let's see how far I want it, it doesn't have to be That far, just there. A little higher. Yeah. So what I did is I line it up and I make the mark here and shove it just a little way and I make a mark there. And then I will do it again. I line it up. My mark there and there or there. Do I make sense? Probably not, but but hey, is crafting making sense? Nope, not at all. So now I created another pocket and a very tight pocket, so I can make a little tuck spot for the next card. And of course, underneath here, there's also a tuck spot. Yeah, so I grab some design paper first and then glue this on. So I grab my design paper. Alrighty, let's see what I use. I use this piece of stripe for the left side of the pocket. So I put this on. So I slide it in and place it on the right spot. Same on this side. So it's really a fun page, but it needs a little more of measure months but as you can see I don't measure I just make a mark with my pencil and that will do it so make sure we have all the glue down on the right spot especially in the points oh. and now I am going to attach the extra little pocket and I put some tape on so it will stay put as I want it. Just put some extra glue and this comes over this one. So we created an extra fun pocket. I think I like it. Yeah. Now we attached it to the album with some tape. And then this page is already done. Not too bulky and not too boring, just how I like it. And still functional. Let's grab the album. I was putting it in front of me so I can match the paper. So I really like how it turns out. So laying it on my page and then 
make sure your tape is going to be everywhere good attached to your background yeah is this a match or isn't i think it is especially with the stripe i really enjoy that now i have made a few tags already so let's see if they fit i use these two uh, recipe tags cards and i put them on a larger um, piece of black cardstock the black is black but i think it's pretty now do i want to use one or two now why is this oh, yeah. it fits can i use one or two i can use two but perhaps i am just using one but let them stay inside let's see do i need one or two think for now just one and perhaps this one is going to be on this page I think I think and um, like I said at the front you can leave another tag and on this side you also can make another tag if you like just whatever you like now I like the white one on this one and this with the skull on this side yeah this I use for another project yeah how it turns out so one tag two tag and the last tag yeah I like it like it like it like it like it and as I see here I did not make So, now it fits perfectly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it. Now, up to the next page. So, we'll have one simple page and one pocket. And this one flips to this side. And then we have the thinner page and we have a flip and a flip and a flip and a pocket yeah so this is going to be also very flat and then I think on this to these two I just use background paper let me see yeah because it's not too thick but I think I don't want to make it any more thicker than it already is. Yes, let's do this one. Now for our last page, like I said, I wanted to make it flat because here we don't have many room to make it bulky. So I decided to make two nice picture frames and I pick this for the background and because I have um, the Martha Stewart punch around the edge and I never used these two together so <laughs> it was my first attempt but I lost my uh, inscription so I looked it up on the web and I found the measurements and if you like I will put it below but um, wait perhaps I can show you because I have to I had made a screenshot of it let's wait just a minute yeah I hope you can see it but I really think if you are going to put it online just Martha Stewart punch around the edge measurements then I definitely believe you can find it also but let me show you on my I don't know if you are going to see it but 
I will put it on I think it's really oh now it's perfect so the first measurement are inches and the last measurements are in centimeters so yeah okay so but I put it in the description box below if I don't forget but the smallest one is 8.25 centimeters by 8.25 centimeters so that's this one and the the one larger after that uh, I believe was 12.7 centimeters and uh, I don't use the inches for now but then you have then you get these two little ones so this is the 8.25 centimeters and this is the 12.7 centimeters but this one I think it's just too large yeah I think it is it, it's 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 too large so I don't use it so I like to use two of these so let's do one together so first you are going to make sure you have the corners done so slide it in Then grab this one and you just line it up line next to this one. Not like this, but this one. So you line it up and make sure you're on the right and on the left. Nice and even. And then you just cut it. Or push. And then it cuts. Pretty easy. Yeah, that is so easy. And if you do a larger one, then also first do the corners, and then you just line it up first at the corner, and then give it a punch. And the next one, you line it up at this side, and even with. Um, let's give it a try. Yes. Line it up at the left corner and then this one attached to this uh, particular image and then you punch. So yeah, that's, that's it. Piece of cake. Now, but you just have to play around and you figure it out. Now let's see, I want to use the purple to decorate my frames and I already cut them out at the right size and I did the corners same as the image and then we just attach these and you can do it on the right, on the left, or just on top. I think I like it like this. Yeah. A little bit of funny. I always like that. So, this one on the left corner. And this one at the right corner. using a banner. Is this a banner or a label or and of course I am going to pop it out pop it up <laughs> on black cardstock cut it out as neat as I can 
Cam. Almost there, yes. And then I think this will look cute on here. Trick or treat. I like it. Yeah. Can make it just a little extra, but no. Do I? Do I not? Yeah, I decided to do, and this was this also was in the kit, I believe, at the same one as this sheet. Yes! Like it, like it, like it! Now I glue my simple page. Let's call it a frame page. <laughs> so, let's put some extra glue on. Grab the album, line it up, oh, I see that my tape is just a little over the edge and I don't like that. Just line it up and give it a push when you are satisfied. I think this page really turns nice, if I may say. Yeah, like it. So this is coming nice and flat, same as the first page with my little belly band. Yeah, photo frame. This is a pretty large, and this. So we have. One page um, bulky with uh, lots of activity and one flat. Same as this one, one bulky, one flat and on this one flat and one bulky. All bulky but yeah I think it's enough. I really think. So I will just do some decorative paper. Or just one simple pocket, that's not that bulky, but also very handy if we are making a pocket. Yeah. So let's Wait make the front page first. And I really like to use this as a background and also on the last page because I really adore that stripe coming back. Um, also on this page. So as promised I will make a pocket and we are going to use this first. So this is going to be as a background. So let's see. So first I am going to make a fold line. And I hope I will do it same as usual, but I feel a little dizzy. Just grab some medicine for my back is really killing me. So I hope you can see what I am doing because I already met this. 
and this is coming in the pocket so I just make a mark where my next um, fold line is going to be so just a little extra and then I cut it at a half inch fold it and perhaps we can do this at the same time so this must go in in and if it if it's just a little too tight you always can cut just a little off no big deal this is better yeah now I can measure how far I want it to be this just comes just a little deeper so yeah, I think I just can make this in half so I can use it at the same time how convenient is that? And I just cut this one and then I have two pockets. Yep, 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 yep. Is that easy or is that easy? It's very easy. Yes, it is. It fits perfectly. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Now let's see what I was for decoration or for the front. Um, I always like to match, so I think for this page I am going to use the this one. Don't I have any smaller piece? Oh, and I <laughs> I bought this one last week on a dollar store, and I think it's nice to attach later on if it's going to fit. But still not using it. But oh 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 oh. Nope. I don't have any leftover, so I am going to line this up line it up and I cut it so let's get back to you in a so second let's do the pocket I did my decoration and I used the on the edge die again the notebook uh, wound um, CLOTE 25 I used for this one same as let me see yeah same as this one too so I let it come back so we glue first the pocket on our page if the tape is going off of course put some extra glue on I always prefer doing that as you know for those who knows me so glue it on the pocket and I prefer doing it on the most left side as possible and then just a quick fit yes this fits this is the top I already Distwist it with my distress ink from Tim Holtz. Oh, standing straight, please. And just move it in. Slide it to the place I want it to be. 
and there you go there is our very flat pocket and this one is going to be just a little loose so I use my art art glitter glue from Country Craft Creations and so this will stay put nice yeah so we can stuff it with um, tags and let's see is this one fitting on here yeah this fits in here as well yeah so the the, the large the the large oh my medicine is killing me today um, the last page I already did some cutting so I can do it with you together at the same time so yes I am going to match my pocket as my last page same like I always love that to do if it's possible then I create a little banner oh, this is not a banner, a little stripe and then I want to use this label and then this goes over it I ball it in the middle and give it a wheel push yes um, put some tape on of course of course of course and I didn't prepare that but that is not a big deal you can make sure you put your tape on the right size then peel off your tape like that first check yes always double check if you don't forget I sometimes forget it slide it in in the pocket as far as it needs to be and put it in place it's that simple yes it is yeah I think I am going to make a few more of these recipe cards putting on some black cardstock and then put it in. I do have one more to go of these or these a little more. So yeah let's make a few tags, not too many, a few, a few extra tags and then it's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. Yes it is. And then I decide the outside covering up. Yes, thanks for watching. I think I'm going to be a singer. No, I don't. <laughs>